Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today we're going to do a video on the Solar Pass Pain Relief Patch. I first saw this one at a store, but I wanted to try it out and see if it really works. You know, it's, uh, this is good for arthritis, strains, bruises, and sprains. So basically, um, I used it for my shoulder and it seems to work okay it's not the best best product out there but it's not the worst it's good for like like they say here go for temporary relief salon so pass pain relief patch but well, this one i purchased at costco i'm sure there's other ones out there pretty good price has 120 of them so let's take a look at this they come in a lot of different packs and I, of course i used some of them already and it's for external use only. Does do not use on wounds or damaged skin. If you're allergic to aspirin or salicylics, with a heat pad or with some types of other external products, it means uh, it might be irritating. And this is how it looks inside. So basically, it's just a uh, no more than uh, like a stick-on patch. Well. You know, sometimes my shoulder gets tightened up and uh, it seems to work okay. So basically what you need to do to use this product is basically peel this thing back and there's a little stick on. You see that? And that's all to it. I mean, just stick it on, then you can use the patch. Um, is it better than uh, the other products out there like Bangade and that sort of stuff? Well, you just avoid the ointment, you know, and the lotions and the creams. But um, overall, the product, you know, it's not very strong. I mean, you know, but it does offer temporary relief. You leave it on for a longer time, you know, and it's very reasonably priced. So this doesn't cost a lot of money. I, mean, I think it's under $10 what I purchased right here. And it's good for it temporary relief yeah. and uh, by the way let me tell you about the ingredients here since we're at it I can't pronounce all the names correctly so I'm just going to show you campar methyl methyl salicylic you know inactive ones there's a ton of inactive ingredients here let me see if I can zoom in for you Well, will I buy this product again? Basically, you will ask me that same question, of course. The question is probably yes. I'm very impressed with the product, and it does work pretty good. It's not the best product I ever used. And again, there's no like burning after effects. Do not use a heating pad once you use this because it would be irritating. And this is made in Japan, by the way, too. So that's not something I mentioned. They usually come out with pretty good products in Japan. Anyway, I hope this video is helpful. Please come back for more videos. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.